is the study of complex law which includes culture, tradition, laws, beliefs, art, uh, perceptions and uh, world views of different uh, people in the so different societies. It is also a holistic study of the way people live. So anthropology has uh, uh, branches. One of the branches is archaeology that uh, studies the remains of uh, things that have been there before uh, the art of writing. So people study the remains in order by digging in order to appreciate uh, the culture before the art of writing. The other one is sociocultural anthropology and sociocultural anthropology studies people's culture. It could either be material or non-material. And uh, in this we have two subgroups. There is ethnology, which you go to the field and study the living culture of today. But also uh, ethno ethnography, ethno ethnology is about the past and they compare the cultures while ethnography is the living culture of the people. So linguistic anthropology, uh, we study language, how language has uh, changed over time, how language influences the thought, and how culture and the, uh, uh, thought influences the language. So it has to do with the uh, structure of the weights and how people use uh, different languages in order to communicate different thoughts. This branch is also very important when it comes to communication. So how do people uh, present themselves in different uh, situations? The other branch is the uh, ecological anthropology. That, uh, that this branch has to do with the, uh, how the people exploit the uh, environment in order for their survival. So they develop techniques on how they could exploit the, uh, the environment. So people's culture will change depending on the, where they are. And this is uh, a branch of also of anthropology. And the other part which is taken as uh, the, the last part is what we call applied anthropology. Applied anthropology is the use of anthropological knowledge uh, in different uh, activities or in different aspects. It would be medical anthropology where they use uh, knowledge of anthropology in trying to understand how people come up with uh, drugs to heal certain uh, diseases and how people perceive about different diseases and the origin of these different uh, diseases and how they could come up with the element to this. Then there is also development anthropology, whereby uh, people apply anthropology to understand the people's way of for perceiving reality and worldview, and how they uh, understand when different developmental activities are taking place in their societies. And we have also uh, psychological anthropology, how people think how people uh, perceive issues psychologically. And we have also political anthropology. This is uh, how the people uh, uh, behavior towards maybe when there is an election or structures in the society, who does what, whom should they obey, and uh, how should they do that. So this are uh, under uh, applied anthropology, just to mention a few. Anyone who want to study anthropology and should have completed the MSCE with at least six credits, including English. Because anthropology is a science, so you need to have uh, uh, average intelligence in order to uh, pursue in this uh, uh, course. So anthropology also would help to make people appreciate their world views. And those who do anthropology would also be involved in so many aspects. It will also uh, help people to appreciate uh, 
how they perceive the reality, how they interact with one another, and also how they undergo certain uh, rights and behaviors within that particular society. It also helps to understand people in their own situation. Because we say uh, there is uh, no society that is superior to the other, and uh, society, uh, each society is unique, and therefore, if you want to understand that particular society, you have also to appreciate from the inner insiders' uh, views. So anthropology will appreciate uh, people's views and how they could incorporate in, in their own uh, daily undertakings. So when you talk about development, then uh, development should start from bottom up. So you cannot talk about a uh, bottom up approach of any uh, activity or development unless you first appreciate the people's way of life and how they perceive reality and how they perceive what development is all about. Uh, one, it helps in the uh, developmental uh, undertakings. For example, those countries that had kept their culture values, now they have developed it tremendously. An example would be China, Japan, Singapore, which did not appreciate modernization theory. That is, says you have to throw out your culture values and then take the values of the so-called developed countries, but rather uh, appreciating and, and uh, understanding their own values and how these values would have assisted them in their developmental activities. So we, uh, here also it's important that even in our own situation, uh, cultural values would assist us to understand how we could develop ourselves. Maybe development is, uh, is progressing in the way it is because not much has been appreciated from our own cultures and then how we could incorporate these cultural values, rich cultural values into different developmental activities. It will also help in the areas of research, especially social research. It will also help in areas of uh, maybe health uh, when we are talking about uh, uh, certain situations that affect the society and uh, especially in terms of health uh, and also nutrition and how they could go about it, the habits which the people have which would have assisted in either coming out of uh, healthy problems or trying to come up with a solution to some healthy concerns. And also, uh, Anthropology would also help in appreciating and understanding the political behaviors of different societies. So you find uh, some uh, organizational uh, structures within the societies and how this would help to build up a community which is peaceful and how it, should, or it could also help others to appreciate the structures but also it, it, it helps to uh, help people who are doing uh, sociology, uh, also economics, how do people understand the issues of economy and uh, how it assists them. Now it also helps to, because culture is uh, not static, it is always dynamic, it is undergoing a process of change. So it also helps to adopt new things that are coming from different societies. But uh, there are others which people take aspects of other cultures and fuse them into their own culture, and this will bring about development. So having the knowledge of anthropology would also assist in the process of development of the society of a nation, and also uh, try to keep some of the values that would be of importance to different uh, uh, people at different levels. But it will also assist the uh, change agents in the form of uh, NGOs and other government uh, institutions or sections which need to 
maybe to initiate change in different societies without understanding our cultural uh, issues, then it will be very difficult for uh, such activities to, to progress in a, a manner that is desired.